Dr. Vanessa Vastra Budde, uh, I would like to welcome you and I would like to formally welcome you to uh, Dream Awards, PDF Dream Awards 2020. Uh, thank you for uh, taking out the time and uh, being present here with us. We are truly honored by uh, your presence. Thank you. Thank you, guys, all those uh, who have won uh, these awards and trophies and whatnot. Basically, it is your day and you have earned this through all the pains that you have taken, all the labor and uh, the time that you have spent. Uh, and I'm sure when you look back, you will definitely feel uh, rewarded, not just by the kind of awards that you have won, but also because of the huge uh, fund of experience that you have gathered because uh, these uh, opportunities are really speaking, uh, uh, they, I mean, opportunities to evolve an insight into the society issues, where exactly we are moving, what exactly we are as a society, what exactly are the challenges before us as people, and where exactly as nation we are moving. So all these issues, which normally, when uh, you are a college student, uh, normally these days are... Uh, called as butterfly days and therefore uh, you normally tend to forget all these things and rightly so, not nothing wrong about it. But then at the same time, being uh, young uh, citizens uh, of today, I, I won't say you are citizens of tomorrow and therefore you are definitely watching everything, experiencing everything, hearing, listening everything, reading everything and therefore it is very natural that uh, some questions crop up in your mind. Yeah. And for all questions, let me put it very bluntly, that there are no ready-made answers. You have to find your own answers. And that, I believe, the CDF Connecting Dreams Foundation must have taught you through this uh, entire experience. Uh, let me also thank the Connecting Dreams Foundation because uh, they are uh, not only working steadfastly in this particular area, but also... Uh, inspiring and motivating many youngsters, uh, students, even their teachers for that matter. And in our country, uh, getting motivation uh, without interruption continuously is very difficult. I mean, many of you might be going to become management students later on in your life. And uh, I wish you every success. But I haven't come across any management institution or any management uh, class which tells us how to have a kind of uninterrupted uh, uh, supply chain management of motivation or inspiration. Because inspiration and motivation is something which uh, at times uh, you find not sufficient for you to move ahead. And I would say at times we also realize at a particular juncture that you have to be self-motivated. Uh, there is nobody else who is uh, going to be ensuring that you are always uh, in high spirits, you always get motivated, you always get inspired. It is not uh, required as well. In fact, at this juncture, maybe the youngsters uh, definitely can motivate others by your very uh, action, by your thoughts, by your uh, decision-making, by your uh, I would say the courage. Uh, so all these things are definitely within you and therefore uh, Connecting Dreams Foundation in a way connects you with your inner self. They don't only connect dreams. Of course, the name is very uh, beautiful, Connecting Dreams Foundation. And these days it is all about networking. So in a way, what evolves eventually is a network of dreams, a network of aspirations and this is certainly very very important we are an uh, uh, aspiring country kind of a country of aspiring people and therefore uh, the work that is uh, uh, relentlessly carried out by the volunteers and especially Amit Toteja ji and his entire team under the Connecting Dreams Foundation is very very remarkable and uh, it may sound uh, uh, a little overstatement, but uh, I am saying it with all my conviction that uh, with these kinds of very small but very important projects, Amitji, you are creating a history. And therefore, uh, 
in our country these kinds of activities require replication in every other city in every other town uh, wherever uh, we can really ensure that these things are replicated i may also express here my concerns about certain things uh, because uh, normally it is the youth who are expected to uh, dream and then try to convert their dreams into reality try to translate their dreams into reality but when you dream it is momentary in a way even at times you tend to forget what what was the dream last night you might have seen but when you convert your dreams into your plans i think uh, then only you can really move into translating them into reality and plan is everything about first of all setting a goal setting a target where exactly are we wanting to go see we are in the college we are uh, in the youth in the prime period of our life not because we are helpless we are in the college many a times people uh, who talk about higher education they say that there is a mad rush in the colleges because uh, many youngsters really do not want to be in college but they are uh, in a way compelled to be in a college because uh, it looks good to say that oh yeah my child is in a college and that gives a sense of uh, satisfaction to their parents and therefore uh, colleges are facing a mad rush that is the observation of several educationists Uh, but i believe uh, whatever the parents might be thinking every student has to have a goal why exactly he is doing what he is doing i many a times feel that uh, in our country in our society there is a very acute crisis of purpose why exactly are we doing what we are doing whether it is uh, uh attending classes or even bunking classes for that matter need to be a purposeful act i want to suggest that you should be bunking classes but there has to be some purpose behind all the actions that you take if you are joining a class if you are not joining a class if you are participating in an event if you are not participating in an event if you are deciding to watch a particular movie or if you are rejecting that proposal of watching a movie there has to be some thinking behind you cannot just flow with the stream you have to have your own thinking and therefore your personality that of a thinking person's personality perhaps gets shaped at least in the colleges in fact it should get uh, the process need to be starting from your school days but at least when you are in a, in, in in college when you are uh, about to finish your teenage kind of you have to be taking decisions after requisite amount of application of mind and thinking and therefore let us overcome this crisis of purpose let us be purposeful let us be uh, target oriented let there be some goal before all the actions that we are undertaking and therefore this is something very important after you set the target then there comes a plan of execution because mere setting a target is not enough if you have decided that this is my destination then you have to chart your uh, journey as well you have to plan it properly you have to move ahead with it and therefore there has to be some plan which is the executive plan which is the uh, kind of uh, uh, a plan to be implemented within a particular time frame there could be a particular phase there could be particular intervals maybe but that everything requires planning a huge amount of planning thirdly there also is required some action on your part simply a good planning on the piece of paper or on your smartphone or maybe on any other gadget i mean gadgets will help you plan your day but the entries are supposed to be made by you and then you have to follow those entries just mere making entries doesn't mean that you accomplish those tasks which you have set for yourself and therefore uh, there has to be some kind of an action on your part and lastly some review of the distance that we have covered 
we we have to look back i mean uh, that this is very very essential that we introspect we look back we turn around we assess we evaluate ourselves and then again re-energizing ourselves we move ahead so this entire process is very very important if you really have to achieve a certain uh, goal which you might have set for your own life and for i am just uh, attracting your attention that although we are uh, in an event organized by connecting dreams foundation even the objective of cdf is basically to connecting plans connecting a particular uh, uh, plan of action which you might be having in your mind and unless and until we network into that i believe things are not going to move ahead uh, thirdly i would like to say that in our country volunteerism working for the society is uh, a part of our tradition i mean uh, there were many social workers many reformers in our country even politicians for that matter who work for the society in fact uh, the evolution of indian politics for that matter started with social work it was not politics for the sake of politics or politics for power it started with social work and therefore social work is very very important and when you undertake any social work at the core of that particular social work activity is your is the intensity of your desire to make some change if that is not the driving force behind whatever you do things are not really going to go miles ahead and therefore that urge to make a change it's something very very critical and that you will have to ensure that uh, the flame of that particular urge continues to flicker in your mind that is very very important in uh, bhagavad gita for example in the 18th chapter they have said that adhisthanam tatha karta karanam ch prithak vidam vividasch prithak chesta daiva chaivatra panchamam what is this firstly there has to be some adhisthan which is purpose then karta which is somebody who is a doer who is an action leader kind of who is very very required i mean without that things cannot move ahead i mean many a times you must have heard that story of anybody everybody somebody nobody i mean it's a famous story that a, a particular task which is everybody's eventually ends up at nobody's so this should not happen whatever the task may be it is collective but at the same time somebody has to take the ownership and that onus is very very important uh, in this particular process and therefore adhisthan karta then karanam ch prithak vidam variety of ways that you have to think about while achieving your target or planning to achieve your target then vividashya prithak chesta again variety of efforts you will have to put in and lastly daiva chaivatra panchamam there is something called destiny or your luck luck factor is always there but that is the last one the fifth one other four factors are important and i would suggest that uh, you will uh, definitely keep this in mind while planning your uh, further progress in the social work arena as such uh, in social work many times as i said since the uh, urge to contribute is something very very critical in our country the image of social work was that of a jhola wala somebody who carries a shabnam bag and moves around and uh, there used to be a slogan kafan ban ke which means regardless of anything else i care it depends that kind of an approach which is welcome but these days professionalism is also required so professionalism and the professional approach doesn't mean that you have to compromise with your objective that is supreme but at the same time when you conduct your social activity professionalism professional discipline productivity result orientation planning presentation all these things become very very important they are no more secondary to your intense desire to contribute and make a change so let us keep this again in mind lastly i would only say that whether it's cdf or your nss or ncc or any other activity at the end of a particular period i would urge upon you that you have to ask a very piercing question to yourself have i made any difference if not why if yes how
if you get the answers which need to be honest answers to yourself i think your day is done thank you very much thank you thanks thanks a lot sir